right guys, so I am at the thrift store again. And um, they have some dolls here and boxes and stuff, but nothing, nothing really. Um, just caught my eye. Got some like, nicer teddy bears. This one's cute. And there's this doll, which I know nothing about, but very interesting. Looks like there's a cloth down, doll down here. Let's see. <laughs> She's really cute. Um, but yeah, but as usual, just our porcelain dolls. And I always say this, but you guys know, their clothes are just always so nice. But yes, yeah, so nothing new. Doesn't seem, I mean, there's new stuff, but just nothing that is really piquing my interest here today. Let's see, this looks like a, oh, it's one of those, I forgot. It says here, right here. It's like f and I think it's from the 80s or something. Um, what is this one right here? Maybe like a Walda type doll, looks like, maybe? No. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's all for this section, so now I'll go back to the fashion doll section, see if I find anything. Well, guys, I'm at the thrift store, and look at this. I mean, literally, this is the fashion doll section. I don't know what's happening, but they have not had a lot of dolls lately here. They do have this, I think there's a Loxy King. And this other doll, I don't know who she is. Five bucks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this bag. Sorry guys, here. As you can see, it's $4.99. The prices are also very expensive now. Then they have these. I think these are like souvenir dolls. One Barbie basically down here. Maybe this is a skipper back here. Oh, safety. All these other dolls. And then these dolls up here. That's literally all they have, guys. This is absolutely crazy to me. I've never seen this pick over in my life. Very strange. Anyway, let me go to the big doll section and see if there's anything. I am at the big doll section, and they do have quite a bit of things. So I'm going to go through here. As you guys can see, I did pick up a cloth. And here she is, like a strawberry shortcake doll. So I might take her. Which is $2.99. I've been wanting one of those for my collection. I did see this glitter girl doll here. Gosh, try not to knock things down. But she's not in the best condition, so I'm probably not gonna pick her up. Mm. But yeah, so far. Lots of baby dolls, our generation. Oh no. See, so I didn't want to knock things down and I still did because there's just so much here. An Elena doll. Oh, she's okay. This doll, you guys told me who she is, and I keep forgetting who she is. Okay. One of those dolls, Cabbage Patch. There's a little mermaid down there. And who is this? That's one of those, uh, Disney, but not like Disney licensed, but not. Yeah, she's quite, quite dirty. And the baby. Kinda, don't know this doll. Little troll plush. The baby dolls. Cabbage patch. Moana. Lala Loopsy. There's a little baby back there. What is this? Let's take a look. This is reminding me of those. Yes, it's an American girl, so it is one of those like bitty babies or something. I wonder if it was one of those that was in the box. So they want $7.99 for him. 
I don't really collect baby dolls, so I don't know. Even though he's an American girl doll. I wonder if he was the one that was in the box and maybe they just gave up on selling it for like $60. So they threw him in here? I don't know. Because typically they keep the American girl stuff up in the front cabinet. This Our Generation Boy doll is still here. I think. Is it Our Generation? Or maybe he's like the Walmart brand, I think. Um, let's see. Baby dolls. Let's see who is this back here. I'm trying to. Oh, it's a baby doll. Wow. It's, it's kind of realistic looking a little bit. This is a rubbery baby. Sorry, guys. I hope I'm getting some decent footage for you guys to see it because it's just so mini and they're so tight. Another baby doll. Kind of the same here. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, is this okay. I think I'm pretty sure this is a porcelain doll. Yes. Yes. So nothing. Nothing too crazy here. They do have those. Um, I forgot the, the name of these. I keep forgetting them. Sorry guys, I'm trying to see her face. And then one of those big dolls. I think those are very likely plastic dolls. Look how big her feet are. Yeah, nothing here today. So I'm gonna go up in the furnace if there's anything there. All right guys, so I am home and I'm going to do a haul video. As you guys saw, that video was recorded uh, in May. And um, you know, as you guys saw that we're not a lot of dolls and actually that day I did not find anything and I was not even going to post it but since I went back a few months later and I did find a lot of dolls but I ended up not recording my thrifting adventure I thought maybe I would just kind of you know put them together so you guys can see uh, so the day I went back they actually did have quite a few dolls in the fashion doll section but I am being selective because my collection is just a little bit crazy right now and I just have piles and piles of dolls that still need cleaning and organizing. So I need to, you know, control myself. <laughs> so here is, um, this bag was $3.99 and I got it mainly for her. She is a made to move Barbie. You can never have enough of these, you know, for rebodying and all that. Especially for us who do like the articulated body. So that was a great deal. Uh, a skipper, I think this is a modern skipper was also in that bag so I might keep her and then this Millie um she has pink hair I'm not sure if that's her original hair I'll have to look that up um but I like that she has darker lip color I'm not sure if I'll keep her though because I have already way too many then this next bag was $3.99 and there were two made to move Barbies in that bag which is amazing so again awesome deal and um you know they're in pretty good shape and then this uh, just regular Fashionista Millie doll. And by the way, this is the price, but I did pay 20. I had a 20% off coupon. So I paid less than that, actually. This bag was $5.99. It was a little more expensive. You know, I've noticed that they price up you know, bags that have dolls with clothing now, which whatever, you know, it's fine, I guess. Um, but this doll, I don't know who she is, but she has such a gorgeous face. And then she does have articulated legs. It's just kind of funny to me that they just do the articulated legs and don't do the arms. Just do everything, you know. She does have shoes, which is great. Um, then this one, I think she might be the wheelchair fashionista. Um, so I'm really excited to have her. She's on a made-to-move body. And she does have an outfit, which I'm not 100% sure if it's her original outfit. I have to look her up. Then this other bag was also $5.99. Uh, there's two kind of, you know, 80s, 90s dolls. This gorgeous one here. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Is this the Midge face sculpt? I can't remember which face sculpt this is now. Uh, but, um, you know, she just, look, I think her hair had a rubber band probably holding, like, the hair here in the front, which kind of has melted with time. But she'll just need a cleaning. She is just a stunning doll. I'm so excited. And she does have 
an outfit which is more exciting uh, and then this girl as well um i think she also might be one of those dolls of the world if i'm not mistaken i'll have to look her up too but again also has an outfit so that's really nice and then i found this bag it was 3.99 i don't know who this is no clue uh, but i'll probably donate her back and just keep her outfit for another doll uh, but there was a vintage skipper doll so of course i'm excited to always get those let me see if it says anything on the back uh, just mattel 1967 because i know they've had some reproductions but i think this one might be original i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't looked really deep into it and then finally, super excited about this because I've been wanting Kaya for the longest time. And I always kept up hope that I would find her at the thrift store. And I did. And she had her outfit too. So that was even more exciting. Uh, so this is an American Girl doll. Uh, this is Kaya. And as you see, her face sculpt is a little bit different than your typical American Girl doll who's usually smiling. Um, you guys, if you guys know the story behind this... Um, I think, you know, in Native American culture, they don't smile. It's not that they don't smile, but there, there's something. I, I read that once and I can't remember the details. But yes, her face sculpt is different. She does have her outfit, which of course will just need a little bit of cleaning in her hair as well. But it's not in absolute awful shape or anything. And she even has her shoes, which is super exciting. She was uh, $30, but I did have the 20% off coupon. So... I can't believe that I found her, guys, because I've been wanting this doll forever, and I really kept hoping that I, she would show up at the thrift store one day. Uh, but anyway, guys, so that was my haul. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And hopefully, I'll get back to kind of a thrifting routine again, you know, with the baby and everything. But hopefully, I will. Um, yes, so I'll see you next time. Ciao!